We got another GTA news video with no script. No script. You know, I actually kind of feel like I'm dreaming a little bit because it seems like Rockstar is a little bit late on this update, but we're going to go right into the Rockstar Newswire and I'm going to just kind of read some things. I know I'm a little bit late to the party, but yeah, there's no title to this. It just says Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead Online Community Update. That's all it says. So like I said, we're, uh, we're going off no script here, so bear with me. This is the latest of what's to come this summer and beyond. Now, this was dated for July 7th, 2022. As we look at what's in store for the Rockstar Games community in the weeks and months ahead, we'd like to take this opportunity to thank everyone for their unmatched enthusiasm and commitment to all of our titles. It's your support that drives us to keep pushing forward with everything we do. And we are excited to share with you the first details around the upcoming updates and more. With more players than ever taking the streets of Los Santos, thanks to the recent launches on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S, we'll be looking to improve all overall GTA Online experiences with new gameplay updates, adding top community request experiences, improvements, and upgrades that will make it easier for players to enjoy everything GTA Online has to offer. Now, this has been mentioned before and with other content creators, but I think that is really awesome that they're actually, it seems like, don't quote me on this, but it seems like they are actually taking what the community is actually saying. Now, I'm hoping that's the case, but we will see what's going on in the future. In just a few short weeks, a new update is coming to GTA Online on all platforms that will be expanded upon the criminal careers of executive, biker, gunrunner, and nightclub owner alongside a set of contract missions that present the opportunity to be sworn in as a special IAA field operative to investigate budding criminal conspiracy. So I guess we're gonna go from being a criminal to being someone that stops criminals, I guess. But I don't know, it's, it, it sounds like a pretty decent idea to me. Um, you know, this uh, this image here that they have on the newswire is pretty cool, that's, that's an outfit that I guess there's a way you can glitch yourself to have this outfit, but I don't, I don't really know uh, for sure because I don't really do glitches and stuff like that. But it, I mean, it, it would be cool if we'd be able to get this outfit or buy it or whatever. I think it'd be pretty, pretty awesome. This update will also feature some changes that have been long requested by the community, such as reducing the effectiveness of homing missiles and countermeasures on the Oppressor Mark II. Now, this is something everyone has been waiting for. Yes. <laughs> Oh God. It's also gonna be offering a more convenient way to access snacks and armor and the ability to launch cell missions in invite only sessions. That is something that has been waited for for the longest time. It is like five years, five years too late. So that is, that is, that's unbelievable. <laughs> that's incredible. And these are just a few experience improvements that will be coming this summer to GTA Online as we continue to incorporate more player feedback and other learning moving forward. I'm hoping they actually stick to what they say and actually do this going forward because I, I don't want to be disappointed, you know. We'll also be increasing some of the GTA money payouts throughout the game to reward players for their time, which is another thing that is just very late in the game this should have been since the beginning but it's great that they're finally implementing this stuff with such a wide range of things to do in gta online we believe that increasing these payouts will allow people greater freedom to do what they like and get what they want faster now that's awesome too because i actually really love doing adversary modes and and missions and stuff but like i don't do them on the channel i don't do them really at all just because uh they don't pay much they don't pay hardly anything i hope they just increase everything all across the board bodyguards associates and mc members will see payout increase to encourage and reward cooperative play along with increased gta money payouts across a variety of activities including greater payouts across races adversary modes and select heist finales now that's something that I'm also excited for because the original heists, they are, it's so, it's so underrated. Like I absolutely love those original heists, but the pay just sucks. I mean, as a new player, it's good, but I think the hardest part of those heists was finding three other people willing to do this. And and I think that was the biggest, uh, the biggest issue for me, but I, I, I love those heists. I mean, I would play them for fun now because I don't really need the money, but if they increase the money, that would be amazing. I, I would, I would go after me even harder. I mean, that would be awesome. 
plus our continued commitment to specially curated seasonal events. Additional bonuses and gifts, community challenges, and other surprises for players will ensure that Los Santos remains as dynamic and unpredictable as ever. And that's pretty cool too. I mean, like seasonal events. I mean, I see last year I think was probably one of their biggest Halloween events, and I and I really enjoy Halloween. I don't know if you guys have played it during them, but I remember. Uh, you know, um, there were certain times, you know, there was like an alien invasion that happened. I mean, not really an invasion, but more like, you know, you'd see little saucers appear. A um, couple times, um, you got attacked by Christine, that ghost car based on a Stephen King's book. Um, there was a, like, I guess a couple other NPCs that would attack you or something at random times. And I, I never actually got any of those to spawn, even though I tried. Um, but I thought it was really cool that, uh, that they had that. And I hope they continue stuff like that you know and it's probably talking about you know the, the snow as well i mean the snow's all right for like a week <laughs> but after the week I, you know I, I think it's time to go back to the regular uh way but i think it's pretty cool just to have those environmental changes i think would be cool so now we're getting into the red dead online community type stuff now i i've wanted to play red dead online uh for a while but i just never really got into it because i've heard uh, that there's a lot of potential there but i know but i know it's coming and i know a lot of you are also are also know what's coming Red Dead Online is basically dead now. We would also like to thank the Red Dead Online community for their continued support and dedication. Over the past few years, we have been steadily moving more development resources towards the next entry in the Grand Theft Auto series, Grand Theft Auto 6. Understanding more than ever that we need to exceed players' expectations for the next entry to be best as it possibly can be. As a result, we are in the process of making some changes to how we support Red Dead Online. Firstly, with both new and experienced players engaging in the wealth and activities already added in this massively rich world, including specialist roles, story-based cooperative missions, competitive showdown modes, and much more, we will continue to showcase the unique additions through Red Dead Online's monthly events as we move forward so players of all levels can enjoy everything the vast frontier has to offer, which apparently I haven't played it, but apparently it's not a lot. It's not much. I mean, not as much as GTA Online, but I mean, to be honest, um, it, it hasn't really been getting a, a very large player base. It, I mean, it's Rockstar's fault because they haven't really been updating it. Honestly, I wanted, I wanted to go and play it, but I chose not to just because it just seems boring to me. Like, it seems like I don't like to start something that I know is gonna be unfinished. And I know that when you first start, there's like a story to it that is just not gonna get finished. And I just, I don't like that. And that was one of the reasons why I, I didn't jump in. Uh, alongside seasonal special events and experience improvements, plus other changes to enhance and maintain a healthy Red Dead Online environment, we plan to build upon existing modes and add new Telegram missions this year, rather than developing major themed content updates like in the previous years. And we will continue to highlight and share the creative efforts of our Red Dead community at every opportunity via the Newswire and beyond. Once again, we want to thank the community for their continued support and we truly are grateful for all of the constructive feedback we've been receiving up to this point and hope we can keep moving forward. Blah, 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 blah. It's pretty much the end of the news, Ryers. Basically saying, Red Dead Online is dead, uh, unfortunately. But truthfully, I, I'm excited for the GTA Online community and it sounds like they're gonna be making some great quality of life improvements. So, um, and, it's, and it sounds like they're gonna be adding stuff to our CEO and our biker businesses. I don't know if they're gonna add more business. I have no idea what they're gonna do, but I'm actually very excited. I do know that this update, this week event that they're in right now is gonna end on June 18th, which I believe June 18th is a Monday and usually their rollover day is Thursday. So it, it would actually, it would normally end on the 14th, but it's gonna go to the 18th. So my advice is to keep your eye on that date. I'm gonna guess the 19th maybe might be the day where they actually trigger that update. So I, I'm super excited about this update. I do feel bad for the Red Dead community because I do know there is a, a smaller community, but it also sounds like they are working on some GTA 6 stuff. I don't know if it's going to be called GTA 6, but that's what everyone's calling it. It sounds like this update is going to be really cool uh, as far as, you know, with GTA Online. But other than that, I mean, that's pretty much all I got for you. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you like it, subscribe, and all that jazz and I will, well, I, I should say you will see me in the next video because I won't see you if, 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 if you get my drift. So, bye.